This is the Transformers Rise of the Beasts, Beast Alliance, Beast Battlemasters, Air Razor. Oh my goodness, I didn't think this would show up till about a couple months from now. But our local Toys R Us store had it, and I picked it up for $11. $11 for such a teeny tiny figure. And here is Battlemaster Air Razor out of the box, and she looks great especially with the Studio Series Air Razor. Unfortunately, there is no way to tab her feet anywhere onto any figure, but doesn't matter. Figure will stand on any leveled surface. It's a very, very good looking rendition of Air Razor in beast mode. If you look at the detail, the color of the plastic paint apps it very much closely resembles the mainline Deluxe Class Air Razor and not Studio Series for obvious reasons because this is a mainline figure. In Beast Mode, she has amazing details. Just look at that head sculpt of the bird, the wings, the details, fantastic details all around. Articulation is, well, is limited to hinge motions on the hips of the bird. And obviously the wings are on ball joints, so you could have her flapping about and all that. For comparisons in beast mode, here she is with the other uh, battle masters in the main line. We've got Rhinox, Skull Cruncher, and Optimus Primal. Obviously Cheater's not here because I never really liked that figure. So yeah, it's okay. Very good sized battle master figure. And now for transformation. Now what really impressed me with this figure is that it's a triple changer. There are two weapon modes. Now the first one is the obvious one, that's one on the package. And to do so, you plug out the tail from the actual gun barrel, fold it up all the way up to his head, and then you cover the beast head. And then you fold down the handle, the five millimeter peg handle, and then you reverse the, the wings and essentially, that's it. It's sort of like a crossbow blaster. Is it a bow caster or, or something like that? And air razor. The package says Optimus Prime holds it, but uh, obviously it's better if it's air razor holding it. And yeah, it looks, looks pretty good. And the second weapon mode, this one's actually pretty cool. What you do is you combine the wings you can just rotate them and then you fold up the entire barrel on its hinge and tab it all the way onto the back and you form some form of an what, aztec shield or what you can plug it right here and it forms like an air razor shield and i thought that was cool it's a shield with a gun so it it feels like it's a riot shield so she can defend and attack at the same time. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Two gun modes for one figure. And so some final thoughts on this Rise of the Beast, Beast Alliance, Battlemasters, Air Razor. I absolutely love this Battlemaster figure. I think it's got to be my favorite out of all the ones we've seen. With him being number one. Uh, Primal would have to be number two, Skull Cruncher would be three, Rhinox would be four, and Dead Last would be Cheetor, which I don't care for. I think it's a great figure. There's two modes, two weapon modes uh, in one with, with a fantastic beast mode. Both weapon modes look absolutely amazing. I really enjoyed this figure, and as such, it's going to get a 10 out of 10. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this Transformers Rise of the Beast, Beast Alliance, Battle Masters, Air Razor. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.